Brian, there's, there's no slowdown happening out there. Uh, what, what you're seeing in the market the last couple of days is, remember, we're up, the markets are up 300% since 2009. And you're going to have little corrections along the way. And it has happened over the last nine years. But there's not one catalyst or economic sign out there in the economy that is bringing anything down. You, you, you don't have any corporate debt yeah. that, that's an issue. The only thing that I see that could be a catalyst is if rates ran too high and, and the corporate debt started to default. But right now, earnings are good. The consumer spending money. Gaming is good around the country. I know everybody thinks it isn't, but it is good, okay? People are eating in restaurants, people are buying cars, people are traveling, staying in hotels, and corporate earnings are great. There is not a problem out there, and there's not a catalyst for it anytime soon. You and I have talked extensively about the effect of oil prices, on your, especially here in Houston, where we are. Do you in any way see a correlation between the stock market and your business? Well, sure. I mean, if the consumer stops spending money, we stop buying goods. The consumer starts stops it's coming. It's a negative in. spiral. Absolutely, but 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 remember, there's always one catalyst, and 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 it's and it usually is in the debt markets. The first sign you see is liquidity dries up in the debt markets. They're smarter than everybody else. They're smarter than the equity plays for people buying stocks. When the liquidity dries up in the debt market. That's when you're going to see an issue, and that's where you're going to see the down spiral. So, you're not so having stay your, close to the debt market. Golden Nugget Lake Charles, you're not having the general manager call saying, Mr. Fertitta, you know, we've got nobody in the gambling tables because the Dow's down 500. You're not seeing that reflected at Mastro's or Rainforest or anything. You don't see it anywhere right now. Right the, now. The, right now. Watch the debt markets. They're always ahead of the equity markets. Yep. That's why this doesn't even phase me. 800, 500, you could lose another 800 points today. Watch the debt markets. When I remember in, in 09, and I was in, I think, in St. Bart's on my boat, and, and, the, and I was about to re, do some refinancing, and I, and I was told the market just dried yeah. up. And, it, and, and the rest of the world didn't know for three or four months. Watch the debt market. Yeah, high, well, high yield debt ETFs have seen some outflows, so we are watching. I think that's sage advice. The president, a few days ago, you might have heard it. Called the Fed, they've gone crazy. You're kind of a mini Federal Reserve in a way throughout your business empire. Well, has and also Fed, have billions Fed, in debt. Yeah, well, there, and he's got, I didn't want to bring that up, but you did. Has the Fed gone crazy? Not at all. I mean, not yet. Okay, but if they tr start trying to raise it four to six times next year, because we, we people say there's no inflation, but why does it cost us more to go to a restaurant, more to buy a car, more to stay in a hotel like this, or, or any type? I, I mean, there is inflation out there, and that's where I disagree with the Fed. Okay, so you think you you think they should maybe slow down? I think and you're that, the Fed's market. I mean, you're the guy that builds these probably the best hotel in America right now. You build these hotels, you sell cars, you got luxury car dealerships here, you sell food to people. You think the Fed needs to slow down a little bit? I want them to slow down just a little bit because I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to raise it and then all of a sudden they go, oh my gosh, and yeah. they have to bring it back. 